Welcome back, Legends. I'm down here at Tompkins Park in Perth, and I'm with our leg spin mentor, Ryan James. Ryan's a very experienced spin bowler and now a mentor, having played for Western Australia, second 11, and been a member of the Perth Scorchers squad. Now, Ryan, a lot, something that a lot of spinners talk about or ask about is what end they should bowl from and, and what the wind does. Mm -hmm. what, what advice do you give your young spinners on that? Extremely important. So, um, if as a spinner, we don't often get the luxury of choosing an end because uh, the fast bowlers want to bowl down breeze and those types of things. But if we do have the luxury of choosing which end, we have to know that no end is better than the other. So you have to understand the benefits or the characteristics of what's going to happen depending on which end you choose. So, for example, as an ideal, you know, theoretically an ideal wind is bowling slightly into it. So the wind coming from third man and blowing to, to mid on. So that's going to cause the ball to dip and drift and then hopefully spin away. So that, that's the dream win because the ball is going to drift, lure the batsman into play and it's going to spin away. Now we don't always get those perfect wins. Sometimes we have to bowl straight into it or it's, it's blowing the ball out to offside. So it means it's not drifting, it's drifting away and spinning away. Now, and then we could be bowling with it from the other end, which is going to sacrifice a lot of flight. It's going to be a lot flatter and it's not necessarily going to spin as much because we're not getting as much dip. Now, either end you can be extremely effective, but there's trends to both. So if, for example, I, I get told to come on and I'm having the bowl into a really, really strong headwind. Um, so I have to manage my expectations accordingly because traditionally bowling into the breeze is the end that the batsmen are going to attack. So you go, okay, I'm more than likely going to go for a few runs. As the batter's trying to hit with the wind. Exactly right, because the batsmen are going to look to score from the easier end, which is always hitting with the wind. So whoever's, not just the spinner, whoever's bowling into the wind is usually going to get attacked more. But that's, a good, that's not a bad thing. It's a good thing as a spinner, because you want them, playing, they want, want them taking risks and playing shots. So you go, okay, I may be going for a few more runs at this end, but I'm likely to get more wickets. And then so on the flip side, if you're coming from an end and you're bowling with a lot of breeze, you've got to go, okay, they're probably not going to try and score from this end. They're going to sit on me a little bit um, and my flight isn't going to lure them into big shots. So I'm going to be a little bit flatter, a little bit faster, not because I'm doing anything different, it's just because of the wind. So then you go, okay, I'm probably not going to take as many wickets, but I'm going to go for far less runs and I'm going to be able to build some pressure. So there's no right or wrong answer to which end you bowl at. You just got to, you just got to, understand what characteristics are going to happen uh, between bowling with the wind and against the breeze. So, and then obviously if you get right to left or left to right, that's going to affect the way the ball uh, drifts um, either way. So for example, if I'm bowling from this end and I've got wind coming from my right to my left, that's going to blow the ball out to the offside and it's going to spin away. So if that's happening as a batter, you see the ball starting on off, drifting away, then spinning away, you're not lured into playing a shot. So we're not building any pressure, we're not drawing a shot out of the batsman, which is not good. So there's ways we can counteract that. Simple is not to change anything in your action because that's the last thing you want to do. So what you do is instead of coming in in a straight line towards middle and off stump, take a step to your left, create a little bit more angle, and then so you negate that breeze. So then you're coming in, you haven't changed any of your positions, but instead of all your momentum going towards middle and off, you've taken a step, to your left, and now your direction's going more to leg stump. So you just everything operates towards leg stump, and then that's going to create that angle, lure the batsman in, and negate that breeze. So you're still working in a straight line, but you've just changed where your straight line's going. Absolutely. The last thing you want to do is keep your run up the same, get to uh, get to delivery point, and then try and push the ball down leg because that's going to affect your positions and affect your release. So we want to keep everything as consistent as possible. We don't want to make, any, make life any harder uh, for ourselves. So nothing different, same rhythm, same release, same everything. Just instead of traveling towards middle and off, take a step, you're traveling towards leg stump. That's it. Well, there you go, guys. There's a really in-depth insight into how you can deal with um, the different types of winds that you'll face as a bowler. So hope you've enjoyed that video.